So here's our kitchen. When we first moved in, there was a wall separating the kitchen to the living room. We prefer a more open space, so the first thing to do was knock it down. Boom. Done. A bit later, it was tidied up and it's starting to look better. Fast forward about a year or so and we were ready to actually renovate the kitchen itself. There's not much footage of the actual process or things happening, but here you see a few major steps. First, everything was removed and the walls look horrifying. This is just the reality of owning a brick and concrete house. The holes and destruction lines are primarily for outlets and to run the wires down to the basement. Some leveling compound was placed, the walls were patched up, the floor was laid, and finally the actual kitchen was installed as well. And here we are today. Let's go ahead and walk over to the stove and magically spawn some delicious HelloFresh. But yeah, so we've actually been using HelloFresh for years, so when they reached out to sponsor a video, I was fully on board. What I like most about the service is the variety of options. And every week there's different dishes to try out. I am 100% confident in saying there are several meals we would never have tried if not for the convenience of just looking at a Yummer's picture, clicking it, and having all the fresh and perfectly portioned ingredients delivered. It's also just nice when you're not sure what to have for dinner on any given day. There's options for pretty much anyone. Those who want healthier options, lower calorie, higher protein, vegan, vegetarian, quick meals, whatever. Today we're cooking beef enchiladas with kidney beans. It looks super delicious and it's quick to make. They provide you with a handy recipe card for each meal you order with information and easy to follow instructions. So even if you're a noob in the kitchen like I am, you can cook it. And if you're not feeling it on any given week, it's super easy to just pause it. You only pay for what you get. Click the link in the description or use my code and get 10 free meals plus free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. If you're in the US, outside the US, the local discount will apply. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and to anyone who decides to give it a try, which also supports the channel. But yeah, back to the video. Kitchen walkthrough now. Here we have our little table and bench for eating dinner. This was a very cheap table from Ikea. Uh, as you can see, I can move it with two fingers. Down there we have our Pepsi Max and water collection. Basically only drink water in this household, so that's why there's so much Pepsi there. Moving on over to the like counters, we have our bread basket here. It holds bread and things. We got our little coffee setup going on there. I'll make a coffee for you guys to see how that process works. Do you want a coffee right now or? Bones will be my camera woman for this. First step of course, getting some coffee and putting it in the coffee grinder. Kitchen's dirty again. <laughs> After all that work. Let's open a fresh bag here. Then we put the rest into this canister. It's 500 grams pretty nicely. Also, of course, got to use our handy little water spray. Reduces the static il Now we need a filter, of course, for the delicious beans. Pop that open. Put the filter in. Grab the delicious beans. Pour that in, make sure it's flat, cover that up, put that back on there. Water tank, pop the water tank back in, adjust the flow rate, and turn it on. And of course, once it finishes, we just pour it in some cups and drink it like that because we are real coffee drinkers that don't put any poison like milk or sugar into our coffees. I mean, how can you tamper with the perfectness that is coffee. But yeah, anyway, there's our little coffee setup. I had like a James Hoffman arc where I was like crazily binging his content and he said pretty good things about these two things, the grinder and the coffee maker. The niche here is more for espresso, but it can do filter coffee as well, like what we prefer. I think there were only two real main concerns with the Wilfa coffee maker, and that's that this thing is annoying to remove, but honestly, once you've had it for a little while, it's uh, super easy to get used to. And the glass carafe, which is something you do kind of have to pay attention to. Anytime I make coffee, I get it out of there immediately because if you leave coffee in a glass carafe for too long, it'll burn and affect the taste. But it's also a very fast coffee maker. I would estimate about five minutes from start to finish. So most of the time I'm making a coffee, I'm just chilling in the kitchen doing other things until it's done. I will have as much of this stuff around my kitchen linked below as I can find. I guess also a part of our coffee setup is the little canister here. This one looks really nice. It holds the sugar. This one holds the beans. This one holds the spoons. That's just a cup though. Also Bones got these cute curtains which I think really like brings the room together somehow. I'm no interior designer and I don't think I have pictures before we had these curtains but like it really does something to the space. I can't really describe it. Moving on over we do got the fridge here with some uh, Tetris magnets that I 3D printed. 
they're they are pretty neat. I actually designed these myself, if you can comprehend that. I know putting four squares together and a little indent there is beyond the minds of like most people. But yeah, I really did have like a 3D printing arc as well. But I mean, these things are really cool. They just snap and you can like, I forgot what all the names of the builds are, but I think this is very popular opener. We got the Kenwood stand mixer there with uh, paper towels in front of it to block my reflection. Bones has had no complaints with this mixer. She's the only one who uses it, so. I guess it's all right. We got the oven and stove here, which you saw a bit in the HelloFresh segment. It is pretty neat though. It's like one of those um, induction stoves has like a little hidden touch screen that comes on when you turn it on. Exhaust thing that goes out of the house to get smoke away, you know? It has like a wheel here to uh, choose things and whatnot. Moving on, we got the cutting board where we cut things and knives to do the cutting. These are some Japanese knives, Shun, I believe they're called. Definitely on the budget side for like high quality Japanese knives. We have not been let down by them yet. Bread one in particular is kind of insane. This is a very soft bread, so you know, it would crumble. But look at how clean that cut is though. We also do got the good old bread schneider. So this is better for like black breads, harder breads. Knives are probably better for like rolls or something. We also got a light switch here for the uh, underglow of the cabinets. They like installed some LED strip or something. Definitely makes a lot of light actually. Touch screen action, open it with a button. I'm not really sure what they've done with microwave technology, but there's no spinning plate anymore. Nothing spins in there, but it still gets cooked like relatively evenly when you're like talking about microwaves anyway. But yeah, it's a microwave, does also have the knob like the stove, they're from the same company, so. You know, it's cool. It's a microwave though. The sink is a sink. Nothing really fancy going on here, honestly. It uh, turns on. This trash can is pretty fancy though. Uh, it's like motion sensitive, so you never even need to touch the lid to open it. And then after five seconds, it closes itself. That's pretty neat. And I guess on the ceiling, we have these like hue lights. This button here below the actual light switch or we can use a phone app, we can just ask Google. I don't like that that's probably going to break eventually and we're gonna have to replace the entire thing, but is what it is. Now let's look through all these spicy drawers. Starting with the junk drawer, everyone has one. There's just like random stuff in here, manuals, cough drops, rubber bands. Uh, next up we got another junk drawer full of random stuff, like a thing to tape boxes and candles. And what kitchen wouldn't be complete without another junk drawer? There's an egg crate in there. Let's just close that. Uh, this one has like batteries and uh, some tape, some more cough drops. Oh, but also I, I 3D printed this thing. It's pretty cool. I can put like drinks in it and take two at a time with one hand. So, you know, this is like a Gridfinity uh, thing, which most people will not know what the hell I'm talking about, but it's another 3D printed thing. Here's our uh, tortilla drawer and roll drawer, Tupperware drawer, coffee filter and coffee grinder accessory drawer, coffee and sugar drawer, toaster drawer with some other stuff I'm not, I think that's a waffle maker, stove drawer with oven mitts and magnets, oven drawer with oven things you can put in the oven, more cooking supplies and utensils, etc., etc. Fridge, I'm not gonna go through everything we have in here, Obviously got the HelloFresh meals still. Some other things like condiments, vegetable drawer, freezer section, cooking utensil drawer, pan drawer, pot and pan drawer, under oven drawer for under oven drawer things, eating utensils, various cooking things, pan drawer. This is Bone's favorite thing right here. It's like a little tiny drawer, which holds like rods and things you can take out, which is pretty nice. We got the dishwasher, of course. Not much to say there, it is a dishwasher. Cool buttons, under sink cabinet with cleaning supplies, trash bag drawer, Tupperware drawer, plus gamer sups cups, and more Tupperware. Let's go ahead and check out the up top stuff now. Plates and bowls, various dry foods like noodles and peanut butter. We got some double door action here, so you gotta open this one, then you can open this one. And there's like a bunch of random stuff in there. Above microwave thing, got the whetstone for sharpening knives, a box of noodles, that's pretty much it. Over here we have the cup cabinet. The other one's mostly medicine supplies like cough drops or ibuprofen, etc. And I think lastly we got this thing over here just tucked away in the corner. Got some random noodles, uh, some Red Bull. I also 3D printed this little cool uh, drink holder thing. So it kind of just, you know, it's like a dispenser. Alcohol up there. Neither of us actually drink alcohol, so. Bones has just informed me this alcohol is for cooking slash baking. So that's why that's there. Seemingly random assortment of stuff like canned foods and 
you know, flour into all that. It's got some cereal Red Bull replenishment. Also pretty random, we got a lot of bug spray, bug thing, toaster, like sandwich maker, and a giant roll of paper towels. Over here we got like the recycling for paper and plastics and stuff like that. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the little kitchen review here. Take you through all my cabinets and drawers. I know that was fun. Um, but yeah, thanks as always for watching and until next time.